cell bodies of the upper motor neurons of the corticospinal tract are located in the cerebral cortex. Fibers of the tract will influence lower motor neurons that innervate musculature in the extremities and trunk. The axons of upper motor neurons begin their descent to the spinal cord by passing through the corona radiata and internal capsule. As the fibers reach the brainstem, they enter the middle portion of the cerebral peduncle. As they pass through the base of the pons, the fiber bundles are separated by the many pontine nuclei and their projections to the cerebellum, the pontocerebellar fibers. Note that the position of these corticospinal fibers is ventral throughout their course through the brainstem. At the most caudal portion of the medulla, most of the fibers begin to course dorsally and cross the midline. This is known as the motor decussation. Note that some axons do not cross the midline. The fibers that have crossed entered the lateral portion of the spinal cord and are known as the lateral corticospinal tract. At upper cervical levels, the lateral corticospinal tract influences lower motor neurons going to neck and shoulder muscles. The medial fibers in the lateral corticospinal tract at cervical levels influence lower motor neurons that innervate upper extremity musculature, especially distal muscles. Fibers that did not cross in the medulla are known as the ventral corticospinal tract. These fibers usually cross the midline as they approach their targets and influence lower motor neurons that innervate trunk musculature. As lumbar levels of the cord are reached, the tract becomes considerably smaller. Lower motor neurons at lumbar levels of the spinal cord innervate musculature of the thigh. Lower motor neurons at sacral levels of the spinal cord innervate musculature of the leg and foot. 